So it's a new year, it's 2018, and that means new trends in home decor. But before you get overwhelmed, don't worry, I'm gonna break down some of my favorite ones and how to incorporate them into your home. And stick around to the end of this video because I've got something to help you even further. First trend I'm gonna talk about is mixed metals. And this is one that's actually been around for a long time. And so I'm gonna say it's less of a trend and more something that's I think here to stay, but you're really gonna see it in 2018. And where you're gonna see it mostly is in the kitchen. So a lot of times when we've done kitchens and putting together the designs, we've gone with the same type of metal, not anymore. You can mix that brass, you can have a black faucet, you can have the stainless steel appliances, you can add some chrome, it's okay. So an easy way to do this if you're not doing a kitchen reno is just to mix up your metals in your living room, in your family room with different decor items. The next trend you're gonna see is global finds. And when I say global finds, I mean, gone are the days of things that are mass produced to look like they're really, you know, from somewhere far, far away in a travels, but actually things that are made far, far away. Now, if you're not traveling around the world to get these global finds, don't worry about it. There are so many stores and local makers and also things that are carrying items such as rattan, like baskets that I love, woven pieces, blankets that are bringing them in from different parts of the world that are made, a lot of them by women and giving back to their community. So having those global finds that are real, that are authentic to display around your home is really gonna give it some character and soul for this year. The next trend which I love is laid back linens. So linen is in and I love this one. The reason I love it is linen is just such a great fabric, such a great texture to it. And it used to be thought of as more of a summer thing, but it's really something you can use year round. So the way I love to use linen is actually in bedding. And I've personally done this myself and got some linen bedding and love it. The great thing is it doesn't need to look perfect. With linen, it can be a bit disheveled and that's okay. So we're looking for that realness and rawness of the linen, bring it in in pillows, get some beautiful linen napkins, a tea towel or bedding, and you'll be set. The next trend is, and I might scare you a little bit with this one, is warm colors. And that means beige. <laughs> beige is back. Now gray is here, and if you decorate it with gray, don't worry, I think it's here to stay, and it's a neutral that'll always be in. But warm colors are really making um, a comeback for 2018. Now it's not the beige, you're probably thinking of the 80s or the 90s, this is more of bringing in warm colors, but I say bringing in the textures. You know how we talked about with the linen or the global finds. So bringing in things like sisal, bringing in things like linen in the beige. Um, it's, you're really gonna see it more and more, and I actually really love it. It really warms up a space, so don't be worried about beige. The only thing, and I've mentioned it before in my videos, is beige sometimes has an undertone, so you wanna look at that undertone before buying, say, a beige piece of furniture. But warm colors are here to stay. The next trend, and gosh, I do love all of these because I was gonna say again, I love this one, is herringbone floors. Now herringbone floors are really a classic, but I think we've traditionally thought of them in more traditional type homes, things that are more grand with the herringbone floor. What I think you're gonna see moving into 2018 and I hope continues is seeing herringbone floor kind of everywhere. You don't have to have a fancy home to have herringbone floor. You don't have to have a fancy kitchen to have herringbone floor in it. I think you're gonna see it in a lot of warmer tones and you're going to see it used in a lot of different styles. The next one is house plants. Now I am just finishing up a project and putting plants everywhere and I love that this is a trend because I think it's a really healthy trend. You know for one plants just make us feel better, bringing nature indoors is proven to make us feel more relaxed and good in our spaces and it's good for our air but it also looks great. So don't be afraid to add live plants to your home and before you say I'm going to kill them all, <laughs> give it a chance. Go to your local nursery, find out what are the best plants, how to take care of them, but adding them in your kitchen for some styling or maybe little herbs or things, um, adding a big plant beside your couch. I absolutely love it. They give so much life to a space. 
And then last but not least is large scale art. Now, don't worry if you've got a gallery wall. I still think it's one of those things a gallery wall will always be in, but they can be tricky to do. So large scale art is really in for 2018 and the bigger, the better. A rule of thumb, if you think you've got the right size for art, I say go one size bigger. You know, if you're putting a large piece of art behind your couch, you know, if it's as big as the couch, that's okay, bigger is better. I also love art and I did a video about this um, recently is above the bed. Sometimes we forget above our bed, especially if we have a low bed frame and a big piece of art really adds impact down a hallway, really anywhere. So don't be afraid of large art. It adds impact. It doesn't need to match per se with your room. Buy something that you love and give soul to your space. So I hope these tips helped you in the 2018 trends and they're more the trends that I think are here to stay so don't be afraid to implement. To help you a little bit further, I've created my five steps to decorate your dream room and what every room needs and you can link to that below. If you like this video, I'd love if you could like it. Make sure you're subscribed because I do produce weekly videos and share it with your family and friends. And I'll see you next time guys. Do you want your place to feel warm and welcoming and represent you and your family? If you do, I've created a program just for that. It's called Design Your Dream Home. It's an online based program that'll take you through my exact design process I use when designing a new place. In this program, we'll go through how you want your place to feel, which is a huge thing and often missed. Then how the room actually functions, which may surprise you. We'll go down and narrow your personal style, which I promise you is life-changing because no more time and money spent on things that don't represent you. And then we'll go through where to find inspiration, how to narrow down that inspiration, and you'll basically end up creating a design board of the exact items you want for your room. I also have a couple bonuses on color and accessorizing. Once you're in the program, you have lifetime access and can refer back to it at any time. If you want to design your dream home, I've got the link below with more information and I'd love to see you there.